Hi everyone, today we're going to discuss X-Spear. Um, we're also going to install it. And this is specifically used for cross-site scripting. You can use this for pen testing. Basically, it is designed to find which websites are vulnerable to cross-site scripting. Over here I have a definition. This is from the OWASP website. And it's just telling you a little bit about um, the type of injection. And this basically makes the website vulnerable. Um, where then malicious scripts can be injected um, to websites. And there's many different aspects of this. So I'll just keep it brief. You can go ahead and find the definitions online on websites and watch YouTube videos, um, which I do suggest prior to going ahead and installing Xpeer. Let's get started with installing Xpeer. So the first thing you want to do is open your Kali Linux. Okay. And after you open your Kali Linux, you want to make sure that you are in root. In this instance, I went ahead and I changed my directory to the desktop. Um, you also want to go ahead, go to um, Google. You want to search for X Spear. And then once you get that up, you want to copy this where it says GitHub. So copy that. You want to then go ahead and paste that into your terminal. And prior to pasting it, you type in git clone. All right, so once we are downloaded, then we got to go ahead and do the actual install. We downloaded it to the um, desktop in this instance. Okay, so we're going to change directory to X speaker. Make sure that X and the S is capitalized. Okay, and once we go ahead and do that, then we want to go ahead and list LS. Once we list, we will see the X spear file right here. Okay, it is a GEM file, it's a Ruby file. So we're going to have to go ahead and this and we're going to bring it right over here sorry about that install then we are going to copy the selection this is the one that we just copied after we listed At this point, it will install, it may take a few minutes depending upon your processing power of your computer. And there we are, we are installed. And we're going to go now to the next step. So once you are installed, okay, so why don't we go ahead and now do some scanning. We're going to choose a website, and there's a lot of these websites out there, but we're going to choose one online that we know does have some issues with cross-site scripting and is set up for that so that hackers can go ahead and learn by testing. Okay, so we're going to go to a URL. Here's one particular URL. We're going to find a parameter simply by typing something like, let's say, hello. Then we're going to get this string at the top. We take it cut and paste it into the terminal. After the URL, you want to have a dash A space dash version 2 V2 in this case, and then make sure that dash U is in the very beginning. Then you want to go ahead, press return, and let it go to work. Okay, so 
as you can see there's many issues if we just take one for example and we go ahead and we're going to copy this then we jump back to our browser paste this into the browser you're going to see the vulnerability here popping up 45 that absolutely is a cross-site scripting so there we have it and then these links over here are the specific vulnerabilities that you can go ahead and test all right so i hope this helped we installed xspear and then i went ahead and showed you how to go ahead and run through the system on a particular string with a parameter um, off of a real live URL on the web that's designated for test purposes. Be sure to not use this on websites as that can get you into a lot of trouble if you don't have approval. Hope this helps and have a good one. If you like this video and it helped you, please subscribe to this channel and I promise to make more videos.